The spaghetti strap is twofold. Partially it's boiling hot in my house. And also I looked at my recent uploads and saw the thumbnails and realized that I've been strictly pretty much wearing black and gray for a while. So let's mix it up. Cause I do in fact own shirts that are colorful. <laughs> That's it. That's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda and you're watching Swell Entertainment and we are revisiting FabFitFun subscription box. I haven't reviewed FabFitFun since January of last year. I wasn't planning on doing another one, but then I saw the CPM for FabFitFun and I was persuaded. But it wasn't just that, as always, I need content and I did really like my FabFitFun subscription box last year. I thought it had a good variety to it. I liked the amount of products that I got. So I figured, you know what, why not? We'll do it again. Uh, the last one I got was the winter box. This is their summer box, I believe. So I thought it'd be fun to check in on FabFitFun and see if anything has changed. Uh, and go from there. Beautiful box. Obviously, it's a bit dinged up from shipping. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. Um, I'm not going to show the back of the box because the shipping label with my address is on it. And statistically, of the 132,000 of you that are subscribed to this channel, I'm fairly certain statistically at least 10 of you are psychotic. So we're not going to show that. Also on the front of the box, this one says, in support of the Special Olympics. I don't think the last one that I did had that, but I think that's great. So as always, we've got some coupons. So first we have a card with a discount code for our place, which it's my understanding that it's an expensive aesthetic kitchenware company. Here's $15 off your first FabFitFun box. Also with FabFitFun, um, it gave me three boxes that I could send to friends and then all they would have to pay is shipping. So I gave that out to a bunch of my friends. And then again, we have the FabFitFun magazine. This came with the last one as well. How is the box curated with lots of love? Of course, sweat it out. Tips to boost your workout. You know, usual magazine-y things. Should we read uh, their Zodiac section? It says, Bloom. Root yourself in your home and give it a new life with a houseplant. It will transform your space and act quite literally as a breath of fresh air. Root yourself in your home as if most of us have any other option right now. Um, side note, um, I think it's quite dangerous to give someone like me the permission to buy more plants. My Scorpio horoscope. I'm gonna pronounce the name of this plant wrong. Dracania? Dracana? That's wrong. Honest and assertive, the Dracania plant like Scorpio tells it like it is. If overwatered, its leaves turn yellow and droopy, signaling to its plant mom to lay off the H2O. Scorpio is equally direct, unafraid to express herself and always passionate. What if a guy wanted this? Unrelated, I actually ordered a men's subscription box and it was so underwhelming I didn't do a video on it like I don't know what I paid for I canceled my account and then they overcharged me again the following month so that was fun we got another coupon for HelloFresh would you guys want me to do a HelloFresh review I know a lot of influencers do sponsorships with HelloFresh I don't know how I would go about doing that like just make getting the meals and reviewing the process and then making a bunch of the food I don't know let me know this is the card with everything in it. I think last time it was a little booklet. Total retail value between $206.99 and $451.99. Spongel Black Orchid Beyond Cleansing Body Wash Infused Buffer. Benefish Body Wash and Buffer Dermatologist Tested Cleanses. Exfoliates, hydrates, and massages. Place sponge under water, squeeze to absorb. Oh yeah, there's like actually soap in this. I'll insert a clip of me using it. Ooh, even in the packaging, that smells really good. Yoga. Calm and clean, Epsom salt, hand and body wash. Good, because I literally was about to run out of hand soap. Ooh, with lavender, wait, really? I'm sure I don't have to tell you all to keep washing your hands. I'm sure you're doing it, right? Color switch, instant brush cleaner. Ah. Oh, I've seen one of these before, I've never had it. So basically this is a brush cleaner without having to wet them or use cleaner or anything. Basically you just kind of... How's that sound? Is that fun? Supposed to um, clean your brushes without having to wet them. I'm not sure how that is gonna be for, you know, actually preserving your brushes. I don't know if that would be damaging or not. This is maybe my JK setup yet. I put some pink on here, hopefully to make it easier to see. But yeah, basically just twirl it around. Let me try something brighter, hold on. Hopefully you can see that. And can you see? Mm -hmm. Okay. Makeup eraser, erase all makeup with just water. Antibacterial, reusable, lasts three to five years, great for sensitive skin, saves money. It's not fleece, I can't describe what it is. What's it made out of? 100% polyester, machine wash hot. Warning, this may wash away your bad decisions. I mean, how many bad decisions can I be making in quarantine? Um, a lot, actually, probably. Probably a lot. Wondering though, how this is gonna be for like, 
actually your skin. I know this is not the same thing as like a facial way or like a facial towelette in the little packages. Um, those are actually quite harmful for your skin because it can tug your skin without you even realizing it, uh, which you don't want on your skin if you're trying to prevent wrinkles and fine lines, especially around your eyes. I can't tell if this looks bad on the viewfinder or not because I look like I'm out of focus, but then I look at it. It looks fine, so I think it's just my glasses with the mirror being weird. Sorry for the questionable audio. Gone ahead and got it wet. Let's do this. Okay. It does kind of feel like it's still tugging on my skin a little bit. Let me try and get this more wet. Oh, it's soaking wet, I wrung it out. Yeah, it's definitely taking off product. I feel it like gripping onto my skin. Is it taking stuff off? Yes, clearly. It's just not nearly as gentle as I would like. I'm holding it like this. And it's still like gripping onto my skin a little bit. Like not painfully. Yeah, I'm not touching my eyes with this thing. It's not happening. It's a very soft material, but I feel like it's tugging my skin more than I would like. Yeah, um. <laughs> It's a no from me. I very much liked the throw blanket that I got in my last FabFitFun box. That wasn't an option this time, so <laughs> I'm gonna leave this right here like I'm about to burp Elle Woods' baby. Ooh, earrings. Okay, so these are from Bobble Bar. They're climber earrings. Uh, come on, come out. Did I just break them? No. Did I? Fuck. I have my double piercings in, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. Okay, let's take out one earring. Ow, how do you get this freaking angle? Where's the hole? <laughs> And other climber earrings, but that looks nice, right? Hello, let's not look at my under eye bags. Should I put the other one in? Probably. Hello. Hi. Cosmetics Pure C Vitamin C Mixing Crystals. Okay, but what is it? It only has one ingredient, uh, ascorbic acid. What is that? Push, push what? How do I open this? Wait. Okay, we're checking this. Add a dose of 100% ascorbic acid to your nighttime serum or moisturizer. Okay, how do I open it? Tell me that. Am I gonna get a pocket knife to do this right now? Wait, I don't know if I can have this stuff on here. I probably shouldn't just snort the stuff, uh, but hi. It's a powder inside. It says push. It doesn't, pushing it doesn't do anything. Very confused. Oh, did I get it? Ho oh. ho Okay, wait, 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 where'd the lid go? So apparently you're supposed to mix this white powder and not snort it, but you're supposed to mix it with whatever you're using. I don't know what ascorbic acid does, but it's telling me that it's good for you. But I finally got the goddamn thing open. Next, probably should close the knife, huh, before I step on it or do something fucking stupid. I was a Girl Scout for 12 years. I should have better knife safety than that. Revive Light Therapy Glow Wrinkle Treatment. Powerful LED combination, okay. Infrared light, invisible to the naked eye, IR light penetrates deeper than any other color on the spectrum. IR light combats the signs of aging by stimulating the natural production of collagen and elastin. Red light reaches deep layers of the skin. Amber light brings vitality to dull and lifeless complexions. Okay. Okay, maybe they're in backwards. Great at my job. Where did it go? Did you see it? Did you see where it went? <laughs> Can you find the battery? I may have had too much coffee today. I don't know yet. Don't. Are you kidding me? We got it. Yay, red light. Okay, so hold it down to turn it on. One click to turn it off, cool. Light sensitivity test. Uh, this is a light emitting diode device that emits energy for use in dermatology for the treatment of fine lines, wrinkles, and other effects on aging skin. The device delivers natural light energy in the infrared deep red, red, and amber spectrums that are proven to reduce or reverse fine lines and wrinkles, enhance the skin tone and texture, and create more youthful appearance. There are no user settings or adjustments. Light sensitivity test. Test yourself for light sensitivity prior to initial treatment. Place device on or within one fourth inch of the skin on your forearm for three minutes. After three minutes, check the area if the area has turned red and lasts for more than two hours, your skin is light sensitive, discontinue use and contact customer service. Good to know. So we just... Oh, have you guys ever seen Botched? Okay, I, I think this was on an episode of Botched, but there was a woman who had like these big breast implants and she was like, if you guys give me a flashlight, I can show you something that'll shock the world. She put this on her boob and it looked like a jack-o'-lantern. And I kind of want to put this on my boob now, but I don't know if I'm light sensitive yet. So I don't think that's a good idea. 
Um, also, I don't have implants, so it wouldn't have the same effect on my boob. Wow, I truly chose the worst still for this voiceover. Um, but basically, I passed the light sensitivity test on my arm, but given that I'm on Accutane and I'm technically not supposed to even be awake in the daytime without sunscreen on for the possibility that my skin could develop permanent dark spots, I will not be using this on my face anytime soon. Probably shouldn't do this with a face of makeup on. Did it just turn off? So it like turns off when you're done. That's actually pretty smart. What's your greatest fear and phobia? Other than all the packing confetti, I think there's only one thing left. Grown alchemist biological beauty detox night cream through a profound understanding of human biology, cellular renewal and nutrient utilization are formulations represent a new evolution of scientifically capable biological beauty. About this, smells nice. One of the items for the box that it gave you a variety of options and then you got to pick which one you actually wanted in your box. The light therapy, this one, and then the earrings. And then the others were all just selected for the box itself. The thing is though, is I'm fairly certain I didn't choose this one. A rib sweater coat, packing cubes, we're not going anywhere. Detox pads, because I'm on Accutane, which is the same reason I wouldn't have chosen this one. I'm not supposed to be doing any type of treatment on top of the Accutane, because you can overwhelm your skin and cause actual damage, especially since Accutane can be incredibly drying. And then another grown alchemist, the Hydro Repair Day Cream. That's the one I chose, I'm fairly certain. And then apparently there was a, a cheese board with a plate. They may have been out of that, because I know when I went to go do this, because I kind of did it like late in the cutoff period, because I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this video, they may have already been out of that. But anyway, I'm fairly certain I didn't choose that one. I don't remember getting an email saying that like, hey, we actually swapped this out because that one wasn't available, but whatever, it's fine. I can always give it to someone else. Overall, I got eight products in this FabFitFun box. The last one, I'm fairly certain I got like 12. The other box may have actually been 11 products because I remember there was a product a pair of socks that I actually wanted that was one of their paid add-ons that you could pay for. So there was definitely more products in the winter box from last year. So I don't know if this is just them, you know, minimizing products or if that was just like a special thing. But let's add up all of these. The Light Therapy 68 Detox Facial Night Cream is $125. 1.35 5 fluid ounces, $125. Okay, I will try this. Maybe this will make me look like a fucking baby. I don't know. Yeah, the other one's only $49. They're from the same company. $34 for the Bobble Bar uh, Climber Earrings. $39.95 for the hand soap. For the Cosmetics Pure C, it was $54 for that little thing of powder, Jesus Christ. The Makeup Eraser Original Pink, $31. Body Wash Infused Buffer in Black Orchid is $16. And the Color Switch Solo Brush Scrubber is $16.99. Brings our total to $384.94. Good chunk of that is the $125 from the Grown Alchemist uh, detox thing. Overall for FabFitFun for this one, I still paid the $39.99 that I paid last time. Last time it was for a special promotion they were doing. I think because I was technically like restarting my subscription, that's why it was the $39.99. Though I believe I got less products than I did last time, I do think this is still worth it. Again, I'm not sponsored by them. I don't have a deal with them or anything like that. I just think that for the cost, considering how much I've paid for other subscription boxes, that you do still get quite a bit for what you're spending, whether you're spending the $39 or the $49. And the fact that they do give you the chance to, you know, swap out a couple of products, see which ones you want for your box. I do think that's pretty great. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend any of these products. I think that's probably gonna be it. Just a small little video. I haven't done a subscription box review in a little bit. Have you tried FabFitFun? Do you like FabFitFun? Was there a particular product from your FabFitFun box that you liked? Who is an influencer on FabFitFun's ambassador list that you like a lot? Let me know, comment down below. That's gonna be it. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting my Patreon. If you'd like to support me on my Patreon as well, the link will be listed down below. If you'd like to follow me on all my social media, that'll be all up here. And that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day, goodbye. Why are you still watching? I'm kidding, I'm sorry, I don't have an outdoor idea. Thank you, Adam, Alan, Elise, Brighton, Beyond, Cameron, Cameron D, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash PC, Donnie, Elliot, Aaron, Essen, Evan, Exo, Feckless, Hopeless, Jason, John, M, Jonathan, Jordan, Joseph, Kenneth, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Lee, Lisa, Manga, Matt, Matthew, S, Meme Lord, The Red, Michael, Michael, J, Nathaniel, Pat, Prylock, Rob, Robert, Ross, Sam, Simon, Stephen, Timothy, Tom, Victor, Wendy, Williams, Emdry.